Hey everybody, this is my collectibles coming back with another video and we have got the juggernaut coming to VV. This is my review video. Here is a first look at it. It looks absolutely awesome. He looks really great. He's huge. He's on a base. He has some floating debris around him. I'll show you the 3D version of him in just a second as well. He looks amazing. I'm going to give you my full breakdown of the article with my price predictions about how I think this drop is going to do. So if you do like the video, make sure you smash like, just like he's smashing that emblem right there. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And comment down below, are you going to go for this one and add him to your collection? You know, from the, the growing number of mutants and X-Men that we have on VV, this is just another one to add to the collection as a single solo set, right? So if you are going for the drop, let me know. And also comment, like I said, about your predictions, about how much you think this will sell for in the aftermarket, and also how many will sell if it will sell out, you know, at the 50 gem level, because that's where it's priced at right here. But let's get into this. Let's do our article breakdown or review. Now, here's the article. I'll put a link to this in the description of the video as I always do. And of course, you can find this link right on, you know, uh, Vivi's X page as always. But there he is, the juggernaut. And he looks amazing. I'm going to show you his first appearance comic as well. that You can pick up on eBay or, you know, at your local comic book shop. Really cool as well. But let's check this out right here. Scorn stepbrother to Professor X Charles Xavier. That's Professor X. The committed uh, best friend of criminal black uh, Tom uh, Cassidy and both longtime foe and sometime member of the X-Men. Kane Marco is the juggernaut after obtaining the Crimson Gem in the temple of uh, uh, Cytorak. He tra transforms into uh, Cytorak's avatar on Earth and sought to use his newfound strength to exact revenge on Charles. So he comes in all super powerful. Now, if you want to look at his original comic book, it's X-Men 12. So you can find this comic book online on eBay or whatever for about five or 600 US if you get a raw copy. This comic will likely show up in VV, so stay tuned for that one. I bet you it'll show up at some point in the future to collect on the app, but that's his first appearance right there. And of course, this is his first appearance in NFT form right here. Really cool. Now, here's the thing. List price is 50 gems. And the additions are 1965. Now, 1965, because I believe that's when this comic came out. So that's why you have the 1965. Of course, VV withholds a few. So 90 editions are being withheld. Now, is this price going to be good for the uh, for, for everybody for this character? I actually think that it's slightly overpriced. I think it should be around 40, even though it's beautiful. And uh, I do think that's going to affect the ability for this to sell out personally. I do think that it's going to go under retail in the aftermarket, you know, uh, from the majority of people who buy it. And I do think that this one won't sell out completely, at least not right away, you know. So I do think that's just my opinion about the drop. I think if it was 40 gems, it would be a little bit better. Of course, if it was 25 or 30, I mean, that would be even more amazing. But I still do think that this is worthwhile to go for. I'm just trying to judge about how the community has reacted to this particular drop right here and also previous drops we've had during this time. Now, there's less than 2,000 of these, so he is super scarce. He looks gorgeous. If you look at the 3D version of how he looks in the app, you can see it's right on screen right now. It is super amazing. He's got this great looking base. He's super thick. The sculpt on it is awesome, but he's not animated. And there's no sound. And if he was animated with sound, I think he at the 50 gem level, that would be better. He'd probably be more expensive, actually, if he was animated with sound, because that takes a lot. If he was crushing down like the Hulk does, right? The classic Hulk. But at this being kind of like, you know, a stationary item, even those rocks are floating is pretty cool, right? But I do think that's sort of my thing. I think he's probably going to go for about 30 to 35 in the aftermarket initially but then i do think he climbs in closer to retail because i do think that the people that go for this on the drop at 50 gems are going to want to keep them so we've seen this phenomenon happen on vv for example with some of the star wars vehicles like the atst or the you know the star wars darth vader shuttle or the lambos you don't see them very far under retail on the floor you know, because the people who bought them, you know, they don't want to just sell them for cheap. They actually wanted the collectible. And I think that's a really good place to be 
is when they have people who actually go for the drop who actually want it. And so you're not going to see this guy crash down to 18 or something. He's going to probably be up in that range, but he's, I don't think he's going to sell out completely. Now in the future, if that happens, they will burn the rest of these most likely, which is what they do with Marvel stuff. So this guy in a year from now could be extremely scarce. There could be maybe six, 700 of him only in existence after they burn. And we'll see what happens with that. Now, if you look at Magneto and if you look at Professor X, you can see that their price is now over retail, uh, but they haven't sold out. So you can see this is the reason, this is what I'm talking about. People who bought those actually wanted them. Those are at 40 gems. So this one's at 50. So it's a little higher. So I would have preferred 40 on this one, but just my you know personal opinion. You guys got to now let me know what you think in your thoughts. Are you going for this one? I mean, it's very cool. It looks beautiful for sure. I definitely want him in my collection. Whether I get him from the store or from the aftermarket, I'm going to have to decide on that because if people do dump him for cheaper, like 25 to 30, that's going to be a great piece to pick up, specifically on that solo set. I mean, he's a rare variant right here. He'll have the set tag. It's a single FA and uh, he looks awesome. I would have liked animated, I would have liked sound, and I would have liked it for 40. But hey, you know, we'll take what we can get because it is the juggernaut and he looks amazing for sure, right? Anyway, good luck on the drop. I hope you liked the review. Let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next video and happy collecting.